is my birthday and I thought I'll get ready and share with you guys my birthday look so here it is and I'm so excited on how it turned out I wanted to do a smoky eye but then I started doing my makeup and I wanted to do something more brownish copper tone like more of a mocha um also this look is inspired by dalgona coffee since i've been drinking it every single morning i'm obsessed with this coffee and i thought i'll incorporate more of coffee colors in this look so that is why i did more of a brown tone for my eyes and brown lip color so let me know what you guys think and um Without any further ado, let's get into this video. Alright guys, so I'm going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes and the areas where I want to brighten up my face. For this look, I'm not using a foundation first. I'm actually going to apply my concealer first and then go back with my foundation. For that, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I've absolutely loved this drugstore foundation. It is the best in shade 220. And I'm just going to apply a small amount on my foundation brush and then apply this onto my face. So I am focusing the foundation on the areas where I don't have concealer so I'm starting from the bottom of my face and just blending it upwards and I'm just blending this out um, by buffing it into my skin for this I'm using my foundation brush by it cosmetics honestly guys if you haven't used this brush it is so good you could use a high-end foundation or a drugstore foundation and you will get complete airbrush finish and this um, brush also feels so smooth on your skin and it blends out the product so well because it doesn't absorb the product inside the brush and i'm also blending the foundation towards my neck so everything is an even skin tone to set all the product i'm using my laura mercier translucent setting powder and just applying that onto the under eyes for contouring, I'm taking NYX HD Concealer. This is in the shade Tan. It's a perfect shade to contour and it's a cream concealer so it blends super easily. And just applying this on the areas where I want to contour my face. Then to just blend out that product, I'm going back with my Beauty Blender. I'm taking the rounder edge of the Beauty Blender and just blending out the concealer as you can see it blends so easily and it's the perfect brown shade it's not too dark it's not too light so i absolutely love using this every time i need to contour there are times where i'll switch it up sometimes i'll use a powder um, contour but majority of the time you will notice i use this concealer to contour my face to set everything on my face, I'm taking my e.l.f. finishing powder. I've applied that product on the rounder side of the Beauty Blender and I'm just patting this all over my face. This way your concealer foundation um, sets really well and it doesn't leave a powdery finish to your skin. And your makeup um, sets in really well so it lasts all day long. And also gives you a matte finish. You guys know your girl loves a matte finish look. So I absolutely love using this trick to set my makeup. Since this look was inspired by my love for coffee, I wanted to incorporate this dark brown color from the Huda Mini Topaz palette. I'm using my Luxie eyeshadow brush, which is a flat round brush. And I'm blending this eyeshadow from the outer corner of my eye towards the inner corner of my eyes. Then I'm taking this dark brown shade from the same palette and I'm going to go ahead and apply this onto the crease of my eyelid, blend it in with the dark brown shade that I have applied before. And then I'm just taking both of the shades, mixing them together to apply onto the bottom lash line. 
to make sure my eyes pop a bit i'm going to go ahead and take this copper shimmer shade from the palette and i'm going to go ahead and apply this onto the center of my eyelids and just blend it all over my eyes for that i'm applying the product onto my fingertips and then applying this onto my eyelid i feel like because this is a cream product it doesn't blend as well with a brush um it act i feel like it blends much better using your fingertip and the color also intensifies a lot more when you use your finger as opposed a brush but that's my opinion that's just what i like to do um if you think that this product applies well with a eyeshadow brush do comment down below let me know then i'm taking this mascara and i'm going to go ahead and apply this onto my lashes now this is my go-to mascara i use it every single time so you guys probably know which mascara this is if you guys have been watching my previous videos but if you're new this is the l'oreal lash paradise mascara and it works wonders then i'm taking this pink shade from the palette and i'm applying this on my brow bone and blending in with the burnt orange shade to complete my eye look so I went ahead and wiped off the translucent setting powder from underneath my eyes and I'm taking this Milani powder blush. This is in Blossom Time Rose and I'm applying this onto my cheeks. So I'm taking a e.l.f. blush brush and I am just applying this on the areas where I typically apply my blush. I absolutely love this product. It is such a gorgeous, such a beautiful pink shade it's a very soft tone so it works perfect with almost any kind of makeup look that you want to create and it gives your cheeks this really beautiful rosy pink color as well for highlighter i am going to take this butter london eyeshadow palette and i'm taking the shade enchantress and i'm going to apply this as a highlighter instead it's a creamy eyeshadow but it works so well for highlighter i actually prefer to use this to highlight my face as opposed in a, an actual eyeshadow and uh, again i'm just taking my fingertip and just applying this onto my face on all the areas where i typically highlight and to make sure that the product is nicely set on my skin i'm just taking a beauty blender and just patting it over the highlighter so it's not too harsh and lastly i'm going to apply this onto the inner corner of my eyes to make my eyes look a little bigger and this will just complete the entire eye look so once i'm done with my eyes i'm going to go ahead and do my lips so first i'm going to go ahead and outline them for that, I'm using this NYX Suede Lip Liner and I'm going to go ahead and outline my upper and bottom lips and then I'm going to go ahead and apply my lipstick. The lipstick that I'm using is by L'Oreal and this is in the shade Faux Fur, I think, but I'm going to go ahead and link it down below so you guys know exactly which shades I'm using and which products I'm using. And like you can see, it's a very beautiful nude shade for your lips. And to complete this look, I am going to top off with using this NYX Soft Cream Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Abu Dhabi and I'm applying this on top of the L'Oreal lipstick. This just creates a gorgeous nude lip color. It is such a perfect nude and I love this lip combination. Then the last thing for this look is to set my makeup. For that, I'm using the Urban Decay All Lighter Setting Spray. All right, guys, so that was the look. Let me know what you guys thought of this entire makeup look. Do comment down below. Let me know what you guys think and what you guys would like to see next. Hopefully, you guys are all staying safe and healthy. And I know situations are very tough right now, but Try to stay positive and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button so you guys are up to date every time I post a new video. And I'll see you guys next time.
Bye. Now, listen to me. Listen to me.